Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Daily Gwent. How you doing? I'm doing well. Today we're playing a deck called Old Pals. The name comes directly from the classic uh, Baron, Villain, Trent, and Mirth combination that used to run rampant all over the uh, the closed beta. We'll get to that in the uh, moment. First and foremost, this is not a deck created by me. This is created by uh, Vedanism. It's called Babayan Henselt. Uh, brackets dragon and baron close brackets found it on gwent db i was looking to make a basically just a henselt deck with a twist and i'm not super familiar with henselt besides like the old dragon reavers and whatnot but i saw this deck and i kind of fell in love with it there's a few things that i wanted to change but i figured you know what right now i'm still trying to claw my way back up the ladder why not go with something that seems to be you know tried and true a little bit tested so let's just go with it. So how does this deck work? First and foremost, of course, we've got Hensel. He's going to be helping us deck thin and provide a ton of value. His main purpose is to pull out all of our Siege Masters. These guys heal a machine, and then they trigger its deployability. So we're running two different types of machines. We're running Ballistas, which just do a ton of damage to a ton of different enemies. And we're running Battering Ram for essentially precision kills. On that same note for deck thinning and consistency, we've got two Reaver Scouts, so they can help pull out different machines, even a Siege Master if Hensel's not in the cards for them. And we're running a triple uh, Kidwani Sergeant. They're good for weather clears, of course, but they also have that sweet, sweet crewman tag. Um, I'll tell you in a second what I was thinking about changing in this deck, but we're, we're running this for now. Um, for bronzes as well, we have a Lacerate. Lacerate's just a good card. It provides a ton of value. For silvers, we got Sarah. Sarah serves a dual purpose in this deck. Normally, Sarah is a is something that you play in the second round to uh, pop that Baron back in your deck and grab another gold. And that's what we're going to do sometimes, but sometimes as well, depending on our hand, we're going to want to um, use Sarah on Siri after we've played her in round two. And we can potentially grab Baron in situations in, that we'd not normally have him in round three, depending on how Mulligans go. And we also have the option to Shaney Sarah to do that same thing. So basically, Sarah gives us gold consistency. If it's ever the case that we are in a situation where we need to use her on a bronze or a silver, we can do that as well, but that's more rare than anything. We're running Margarita. She is just strong, locks are real good at all times, and a big, big fear of this deck is um, Villain Trent and Mirth getting locked down. We don't want that to happen. We also don't want Siri to get locked down. So she's just she's good to have, essentially. We've got Death Mold, just good value. He's got Alzer's Thunder. He can clear those skies. He can put some rain down in fringe cases. We're running Scorch. We're running Reinforcement, again, for that thinning, that consistency. We got Tyler, always good to have a spy. And for golds, as I pretty much mentioned already, we got Siri, card advantage, hugely important whenever you're playing a deck with Villain Trent and Mirth. We got that Bloody Baron, and we got Shaney. <clears throat> so some things that I was thinking about changing in this deck. Running one less uh, Sergeant, uh, Nixing Scorch, and maybe even running one less Battering Ram, or probably not one less Reaver Scout, and maybe another Lacerate, get out of there, and chuck in a little more thinning value with some, uh, some Weather cards, probably a Frost and an Aratusa Adept kind of situation. Or even uh, bringing in the Temerian Infantry. They're not amazing baseline, but they're pretty good um, for that thinning potential. And for that extra silver slot, Decoy would be real good on the Siege Masters. Uh, Commander's Horn would not be terrible. Elzer's Double Cross is great for the consisten consistency to get Thaler out. Diamondarian Bomb has a spot in this meta. Summoning Circle is really, really good. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of Flex Silvers that you could chuck in instead of Scorch. Scorch is a little iffy for me because we're going to be running that big unit and have two Scorches. So I think our main strategy is going to be win round one, as is often the case. Bleed round two as hard as we can and just come into round three with Baron. So we want to do as, as much as we can as quickly as possible for tempo in round one, make the opponent pass and then keep the onslaught up in round two so that we just bring a big old baron in i've never run a baron deck that was not radovid so this is new territory 
take a sip of the coffee. We are against Crack on Crate. How's our hand looking? So we don't want Baron, obviously. We got one Siege Master, that's the correct amount, especially if we want that Henselt. We don't need a ton of uh, weather clearing. I will keep one just for the uh, the officer tag, or the uh, the crewman tag, essentially. Reaver Scout is lovely, two battering rams. This is a pretty good hand, honestly. I like the reinforcement option as well. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with this, actually. So we will open with the Kedwani Sergeant. And then what comes next is entirely depending on what he plays. Okay. So, Raging Berserker. This, this is not what we want to do in most opening situations, but he got to go. Uh, the way this deck works, I've seen this deck, I've played this deck a little bit. Although he's got a light long ship, which I did not expect. But uh, generally speaking, the way this deck works is um, he can play Croc and pull out one of the Brockbart Archers and ping his own unit plus ours for real nice value. So this will do 3 damage, which is not like 10 out of 10. But we should be able to grab the kill with the next Battering Ram or with the uh, Kedwani Siege Master. Perhaps he plays another unit. And we can uh, get a double kill. We'll see how it goes. But then we can always um, hand out the Siege Master once he's down, right? What's he got up his sleeve, though? He was definitely going to use the Light Longship as an engine to get that Berserker out. He's got a prize winning cow. This is actually perfect for us. So we're going to do the Siege Master right here. So he's between two crewmen. He should do four damage. And then three damage. Boom. We did spawn a seven short, but so it goes. It's the, it's the price of doing business when you got a prize winning cow. So are we being memed on right now? Wait, where'd the cow go? Is the cow doomed? Cow must be doomed. A member of the bovine defense force, Semper Fi. That's pretty funny. All right, clan brought for our hunter. Got rid of our death mold. That's okay. Bothers me not. No, no, no. What do we want to do? We could play another battering ram, but it's not going to do a whole heck of a lot for us. We could play a ballista and get some decent value out of that. And I think that's what we might do. Yeah. So he'll, oh yeah, he'll go up to seven. So that was perhaps an ill-gotten idea, but now they're both at six. If he wants to continue the round, we will uh, hand sell out that Siege Master. And I'm not sure how it'll work. If we hit him technically first, I don't know. He's kind of ballista-proof, isn't he? Okay, let's let's see what's going on with, with Croc here. All right. All right, that's a strong, strong boy. Strong indeed. All right. So let's reaver out a battering ram. It'll do three damage. And we will... We'll chuck the rest of the damage there. That way we can play our third battering ram and get another kill plus some more damage. Just keeping up in the tempo game. Skellige, just in general, not the ideal faction to play a Baron deck against. And certainly not this type of deck with uh, with Jenga Fret. And with a weird short play. <laughs> it's not the end of the world or anything. Sometimes plays are not going to be ideal. I think we can uh, we can pull this one out though. <clears throat> See, it doesn't actually matter where I play this one, so I'm actually gonna play it on a different row. So we'll do we'll do damage there, and then I suppose we hit the hunter because that's actually the most value that we can get. 
We could always um, Margarita, the hunter. Oh, hey, Corvo. I <laughs> don't know if you guys can hear him. Ooh, Lambert, Lambert. What a prick. All right. So I suppose now is actually the time to Hensolt. It'll be real good value. So we'll bring out the Siege Masters. We'll chuck one here. And it will resolve by doing this. So it'll hit for four. Which is an amount that we want. And then we want to do that again. But we're going to do it right here. So that'll do damage there, and then we will, since he's not technically besides the, beside the Brockfire Hunter, we'll do the damage there. So that was a good tempo play. We got to heal two of our units, thin our deck a little further, and we do a reinforcement. So we can, we can bring out some good units to keep us going here, because Margarita is not the next obvious play. And Lacerate, not really what we want to do. Because he'd get buffed up by two. All right, so he's going to pass. We're down a card, but we're up a round. That's, that's exactly where we want to be, honestly. What's our dream draw? We want Siri. We want Villain Trenton Mirth. All right, we don't want Baron. So we'll just we'll go ahead and get rid of Baron here. Oh, my God, we've done it. That's, that's actually a little crazy, honestly. The, uh, the odds of that happening. I'm not going to do the math, but it's it's pretty darn low. We had, what, 12 cards. Uh, we drew Siri, or we drew Vil and Baron. So drawing Vil out of that is, um, what, 1 out of 12. And then uh, the mulligan for Siri would be 1 out of 11. So you do the math there. Pretty low chance. So what would we want to draw here with reinforcement? I think probably a ballista. Just so that it's buffed up basically. So it's it's the obvious target. So that's what we'll go with. We'll play the ballista. <clears throat> I thought reinforcement played Tyler, but I guess it does not anymore. I thought Tyler was an officer, silver soldier, machine officer, or support unit. I guess he's just not. So that's that's my bad. That that might have been a thing that happened previously, but is not the case now. I'm not certain. Uh, not you again. Where's he gonna put fog on the ballista? That's Fine. Bothers me not. So being able to play Siri and be ahead in tempo, or technically even on tempo, because if he passed it to come back would be 15-15. It's just, it's a lovely place to be. So he's going to lock. That is why we got Margarita. Boom. How about that? There's no way he's got two locks. It's just not going to happen. Interesting that he's running Cleaver over um, the Punchy Man. <laughs> the card art is him punching them in the face. Oh my god, what what is that card? It used to be the scourge of the game because of the RNG uh, deck thievery. Um, Donner on Hinder? Yeah, Donner. All right. So now it is 20 to 18. We've got a lacerate. The value play is hitting these guys and, and thinning. But what I'm going to do is actually hit Gremist and say, damn it. No, Make him think no. I misplayed. He's got no reason to think that we have Baron, basically. So if we had done that, he would still have three there. He'd be six less. So we'd still be in the exact same position, but we'd be down a kill for Baron. So we're coming into it. He's got one card. We're going to have two cards because Baron's coming back to us and Siri's coming back to us. 
the the terror in mulliganing Syria is we could get a Reaver Scout. We didn't. We got Scorch, and he has to play first. So he's getting scorched. <laughs> no matter what he plays, he's getting scorched. Because Scorch would hit our Baron. So if he's got more than 14 points, we lose. And he does. There you go. That is unfortunate. Skellige, real, real powerful. Not the ideal deck to play against. We played it, I think, as well as we could have. Actually, you know what? That's not true. We would have won that game if I played Baron first and we scorched uh, Jenga Fret. But there's no way that we could have known that he had Secret Rifa in his hand. That's the only card that he could have had to win. Or Restore could have maybe pulled it out. But so it goes. Game down to one card and the order that we played it. All right, so we're Henselt against Crack on Crate. Did somebody stream a Croc deck, and now it's just it's Croc City? In that case, there's probably an argument to be made for uh, keeping Baron and uh, Sarah ing him away. All right, so what do we got? We got two Rams. We got one Master. We got a Ballista. We got Reinforcement, which can grab our Siege Masters. So that's good. So this is an okay hand. I am going to chuck away one ram. Okay, so we got a ballista for it, which is fine. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so we got Bill. That's good. Bait my thinking there was um, this can draw out our siege master, and these guys are fine on their own, more or less. So let's uh, let's play the sergeant. And then we'll see what he does next. Last Wish. How does Last Wish work again? Draw two, play one, shuffle the other back. Fair enough. Depending on what he's got going on here, we that was not an ideal play for him. Certainly. Um, I was going to say we would um, want to Death Mold the Lay Longship. That is not in the cards now. But this Ballista can do some cool stuff now. Next turn, we do our Reinforcement, Siege Master, play that again. It damages by one and strengthens by two. I always forget how crazy strong Light Longship actually is. I hate Jenga Fred. I hate him so much. It's such a strong card. Cha cha cha. All right. So we can do some good stuff still. So we'll put him here. He'll do. Oh no, he'd only do three. That's not enough. That's not enough. So Scorch is going to work pretty much no matter when I want it to. So yeah, let's play our Siege Master. I pass on every so he can hit a lot of times. And he shall. Our, uh, the idea is basically just get rid of these two, and then Light Longship has no more, no more gas in the tank, so to speak. Okay, yeah, let's let's reaver out the ballista. Put him right there. And we'll kill those two. So now he's got no more fuel. There's probably an equilibrium where we can scorch all these guys, but we gotta remember that we have a nine right now. We've got a nine. Okay. Woo! Would have been actually horrible if he had killed um, our siege master there. Would not have appreciated that even a little bit. But we're broke as shit okay, so we get two shots. So suppose you turn that into an eight, and then you hit them both. 
So now the long shifts will stay on par, which is good for scorch purposes. Very good for scorch purposes. Next round, they're going to both be higher than our nine, so we're not going to have to keep our, our own power in mind, essentially. Coral. All right. Still totally fine. Do we pull out all of our Siege Masters now? We probably do, yeah. So play Hemsilt right there. Play the Siege Master. Chuck him right in there. And then... So it's hitting three times. Okay, and then another Siege Master comes down. And we do the same thing. But we get more value. We get a lot more value. Yeah. So that was a really, really strong play. He's still got his engine revved up, essentially. Mutagen. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can make this do four damage, but that's really all that it can do. So instead we'll just we'll get two kills here. So this has been good for Baron, <laughs> if nothing else. Yeah, he thinks he's he's being real clever with that. I disagree. Well then, so we'll get the kill there. He's gonna pass. And that's fine. That's a big last, right? That's also fine. I mean, yeah, just get out of here. How do you like that? No adrenaline rush shenanigans allowed. So um, the dream again is uh, we draw Siri, and that should actually be statistically likely. We'll have about a 50-50 shot at it. Maybe even 100%, depending on if we draw Shaney. Okay, we didn't. So we're going to keep Baron. Um... Margarita's good. We're not gonna we're not gonna chuck away Margarita here. So we'll chuck down Ville. And then we'll Sarah the Baron. And if we get Siri, amazing. And if we don't, that's still okay. Alright, click that Baron, and we got Shaney instead of Siri. That's okay. We can still do some really good things with Shaney. So he thinks he's being clever here by not having a unit higher than us. That's fine. So we're gonna Shaney and we're gonna we're gonna create a situation that he does not like very much. So I think the ballista makes the most sense. We'll ping them both. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Death Mold would get us a kill, but that's not what we're in it for right now. Yeah, so he's got a 12, and Villain China Mirth has a target. If he uh, locks us up, we got Margarita, and that's no problem. Alright, so there goes his 12. I mean, we could try and 2-0 him, but why? Basically, just why? He's got to play his last card. We'll have two cards coming into the last round. Yeah, that's fine. Play Secret Reefa. Play it now so we don't run into that same position last time as last time. It's not like he can pull him over. He should have no other way to revive him except with Restore, but Restore would bring him down to, uh, to 10, so... Yeah, pretty pleased with that. We got a 15 strength Baron. And we're not going to chuck uh, Margarita away here. He's got to play first. It's doo doo. Alright, there you go. That's a win. Good stuff. That was a good game. I enjoyed that. These are, these, these are longer games. 
We gotta we gotta really play these carefully, but I like this deck a lot actually actually. So shout out to uh oof, not to our rank, that's for sure. But shout out to uh Vendanism for creating a pretty cool deck actually. Hands up with a twist, Baron with a twist. I'm happy to play it. Alright, we're one for one. We're against Radovid. What are the chances that we're gonna have a like a funky bloody baron mirror here? If we do, I think I like our odds way, way, way more than his. Because we can clear his weather if he's kinda running the the traditional package. So we only want one siege support or siege master. Uh, we don't have Sarah, so Baron, get out of here. We got all three ballistas, which we don't want because we got Reaver Scout. So give me a ram. The sergeant's okay. All right. Um, so we will open with the sergeant. If he is running weather, unfortunate, but cost of doing business. Oh God! Please play a bunch of those. That's gonna that's gonna be a ton of fun. Yeah, that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, baby. Should I let him do, do it one more time and then just absolutely decimate everything? Maybe. I am going to chuck a sergeant down here. So we're still ahead in tempo. But if he plays another one of the... Okay. That was unexpected. We're going to play this out still. Oh, he is playing it. All right. No, that's fine. We're playing this one out. I pass on every tenth drop. We are gonna we're gonna win this one. Through sheer force of will. I am sadness. Yeah, that's fine. So place him here. Men of Kedwin! Select him. Place him here. Select that guy. So yeah, you go for the guaranteed damage. Absolutely you do. And then you, well, you do it again. It's not gonna be like 10 out of 10 value on this guy, of course, but it's still gonna be good value. So instead of Iris buffing up a million targets, ah, uh, she's still gonna have three. That's okay. Cause we got more ballistas, baby. We got ballistas out the wazoo. And I think we have a ballista, yeah, waiting in the wings here with our Reaver Scout. So I'm happy about that as well. Um, as long as he doesn't kill both ballistas, which, yeah, statistically unlikely, we're good to go. Um, not a 10 out of 10 spot as far as placement goes, but that's okay. Let's chuck him there. So we'll get two hits, which does not put us ahead in tempo, but that's okay. We'll only lose one to the frost this turn. So I imagine this is a weird Baron deck, or it's kind of like the traditional Baron deck without Baron. I don't know, but we'll see. So um, an obvious play would be Shaney into uh, a Siege Master, and that might be what we do. Kyronex absolutely changes our game plan. So we're down to 9, we're down to 8, and he's at 20. 20 is a whole bunch. Oh, you know what we could do? We could steal his Iris. But I don't think that's the right play. She'd come back with armor anyway. 
So we could we could bring a siege master back with Shaney. And I think we oughta. Yeah, we we oughta here. So bring him back, put him right there. So we'll get like maximum shots out of this. Can hit, damage an enemy and up to four other, yeah. So we wanna hit there once and then we can hit all of them. Yeah. So we, we turned the tides. We, we went from eight to 20 to 20 to eight. That's all you can hope for. Um, next turn, this guy's gonna die unfortunately, but we can bring out a battering ram that will do enough. So he's playing Radovid. It's, uh, it's a strong tempo play. Always. Oh, he lived. That's... I mean, I guess it's slightly inconsequential. So yeah, we definitely want a battering ram. Chuck him right there. So it'll do four damage on the first tick, but that doesn't matter so much. So we'll just do that, and we'll do that. And we've got our Reaver Scout to bring out another Battering Ram, which honestly, just give me the chance to. I would love to. Its damage will be wasted ever so slightly. But um, it'll get two kills. Which I'm absolutely gleeful about. Also, to those worried, I'm not going to just grab decks from Gwent DB. I'm in a bit of a Gwent slump. So that's, that's what I'm going to do for the near future. Just for the, the sake of continuing the series, I will get back to creating my own decks. There's a content pack coming out pretty darn soon. All right, so if I pass, then he has to play another card and he'll lose Siri. I think we, we have to play his game here. I think we have to play his game. This might be a colossal mistake, and I just don't know it. But getting two kills for Baron and winning the round is fine. We're, we're technically going to win it two cards down. We could have passed and made him play it and lose series, so we'd be up a card but down a round, but I don't know. I haven't played this deck enough to say if that was the right call or if that was a, a colossal failure of a call. Uh, this is a good situation to be in. Oh, well, it's an okay situation to be in. So he's got four cards. So we play Siri. He has to play, I mean, ideally, two cards, but he, he can probably do it in one. Okay, he's got to play at least two cards. So we're passing with Siri here. I don't, I don't want to, you know, fight this round. Okay. So we're gonna be ending the round and it'll be two to two. So that's fine, That's that worked out quite well. His hand must have been pretty bricked or or maybe that was just his, his best play, I don't know. So we should not have any Reaver Scouts, so I'm gonna chuck away Siri here. Margarita is good. Uh, Lacerate is good as well, of course. I do worry about him having Bork AKA villain Trentonmer. But we can we can lock him down at an appropriate time if that's the case. And he's already used Scorch, so I'm not concerned about Scorch at all. Um so he, he can't play Villain Trentonmerth now, it won't go off. We will uh, reset and lock Tyler here. Void Frost is good value. Don't uh, don't don't get me wrong. So uh, we've got one target for Lacerate, so we'll take it. All right, I think we just win. Yeah, good game. There you go. We went two and one with a strange Henselt Baron deck. I had a lot of fun with this deck, actually. I think this is a very good and uh, unique deck. So we're back up to 3,900. Oh, ouch. We're not going to hit rank 21 before the end of the season. It's probably just not going to happen. I need to come to terms with that. It's okay. I'm going to check the deck back up. So the suggestions that I made earlier, honestly, probably don't follow them. This deck works really well. It's far more consistent than I thought it would be. I do think it could use a little more thinning. I think um, instead of Shaney, Dijkstra is a very viable option. 
but yeah, that was that was old pals. I'll leave the uh, the link to the original deck and uh, a little guide. I think there's a guide on the video or on the on the Gwent TV. There's not a guide on the Gwent TV, so I guess take this as a as an unofficial guide. I hope your morning has been good. I hope your coffee stays warm. I'll see you tomorrow.